here with head baseball coach Ryan Craig. Coach, what are your goals for this season? You know, I think our goal is every year to um, obviously play our best baseball at the end of the year. I mean, our biggest goal is to uh, get to the conference tournament and, and, and hopefully win the conference tournament. Those are goals that are set early on in the fall. And it's one of those things where we always just try to make sure that we're trying to get better so when we're ready to go at the end of the year. You've won back-to-back -back conference championships. How will you look to build on that success? Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, it's I think the one thing that's pretty cool about our league is it's getting better. The teams are getting better. Um, it's getting more competitive. Uh, you know, I think we've just won games at the right time. We talked about trying to get better at the end of the year, and I think that's one of the things that we've done the last two years is we've got hot at the end of the year. So, you know, I think the biggest thing is just trying to stay focused and, and, and keep it on getting better. Uh, you know, like I said, our conference is going to be tough, and, and we're excited to get going, but uh, again, we're trying to get better at the end of the year. Who are some of your key returners? Uh, Ross Beamer, uh, for sure. I mean, he was freshman of the year. He was all conference last year. Um, everywhere he's been in the lineup, he's he's performed. You know, I think he's going to be a good one. Cody Alfers uh, will be back. I think his stats probably didn't show how he actually was last year. He had a lot of hard hit balls that were outs. Um, pitching staff, you know, I know if you look at the numbers on the pitching staff, it didn't look the greatest last year, but some, some heavy, heavy arms are all back uh, from last year with Logan Nissen and Adam Fierstead and Dallas McBroom. Um, so I think we're going to lean heavy on those guys. I think offensively we're going to be a different team, um, but I think we're going to be a more exciting team that's going to be able to run and do some different things. Who are some of your newcomers and how have they contributed so far in this preseason? Yeah, I mean, I think we got some newcomers on the hill um, that I think are going to help us. Brody Curtis from Bell Plain is going to be a big one. Matt Wood from California. Uh, I think he led the state of California in strikeouts his senior year. Um, you know, I think there's some other ones offensively I think that are going to help. I think Reed Brown could be one that could be really good. Um, you know, there's some there's some different kids. It's going to be one of those teams that we have a lot of different options that we haven't had in the past. I know, um, you know, in the last couple of years, depth was probably a concern of ours. Where this year, we feel like there are multiple different kids that we can put in different spots and and, and be all right. As you mentioned earlier, Ross Beamer, um, I think he added his name to almost every <laughs> offensive category <laughs> on the single season leader list. What do you look for from him this year? Well, he's just one of those kids that's a competitor. I mean, he, if you could have 15 of those kids, you would, because he's um, at sometimes he's a little bit too feisty, but uh, he's one of those kids that wants to win. He hates to lose. He does everything the right way on and off the field. Um, you know, so we're just looking for him to be him. He's not a vocal leader. Um, he's just one of those kids that leads by example, and he's always, he's always doing things the right way for the younger guys. You were able to play your games at the Franklin Rogers Park here in Mankato. How has that enhanced your program? Well, it made us last year so we didn't have to go on the road very much. I think we only ended up having four road games last year, but uh, it's just it's a it's a premier facility. I think it was ranked one of the top three facilities in the state of Minnesota. It was also the, one of the number one renovated ballparks in America. Um, you know, all turf, 70 foot dugouts. You got a fancy locker room with you know 70 inch TVs and all these things. But I think the biggest thing is is we were able to practice last year, March 17th, on our field. Um, so I think there's some definite advantages of that. We also played our first game March 21st. So I think the, the fact that we can get out earlier, we can do some different things, you know you're going to play. Um, I think those are all positives. And again, just our guys feeling like they're in a, in a big league type atmosphere is kind of cool too. You surpassed 300 career wins last season. Do you have a favorite one in that group? Um, not really. I mean, I think the biggest thing is is just having our guys finally get to celebrate and get over the hump. You know, we've been in that conference championship game so many times, and, and to be able to see the kids go out there and doggy pile was, for me, was kind of a cool thing. I mean, you know, for coaches, we don't get too excited about those numbers. It's more of what type of kids you have and, and let them go out and do the things that they do well. So I think that was probably my most memorable is just, you know, the fact that they found a way to finally get through the hump. You were selected as the preseason favorite in the conference poll. I know coaches have mixed feelings on that, but what was your guys' reaction to that release? I think they were excited. I mean, I think it shows the hard work that they put in, um, you know, and, and, and kind of what they've built here the last couple of years. I mean, uh, there's expectations now, but, but we have our own expectations, and we expect to do, you know, certain things with, with the goals that we put in place. So it's, it's, it's good. Obviously, again, we talk about being the best we can be at the end of the year, so hopefully that same poll um, stays true at the end of the year. You open your season in Arizona. What do you look to accomplish on that trip? 
You know, the Arizona one's a little bit tough just because you, you play so many games in a short period, so your, your rotation's kind of goofy, um, how you can throw guys, you know, if guys are already at their pitch count stuff. Um, so for us, it's, it's just it's seeing different guys, seeing different guys in different situations, different arms in different situations. Obviously, we want to be competitive. We have a very tough schedule again in Arizona, but for us, it's more just kind of seeing what works. You know, I've always joked around that I wish that our spring training didn't count like the big leagues. You know, because then you could really, truly, you know, kind of see where you're at, and then start fresh when you when you get back. But uh, it doesn't work that way. So we'll just we'll try to obviously be competitive, but we're also trying to to look at some different options. Good luck this season. Thank you very much.